Hello, my name is Amber Raley from the University of Texas at Arlington. I'm presenting for you today, OER Transport, Enabling Transportation Planning Professional Advancement Through Open Educational Resources. First, thank you to the US Department of Education Fund for the Improvement of Post-Secondary Education Open Textbook Pilot Program who have generously supported these efforts. A note about the project personnel. One unique aspect of the OER Transport Project is the involvement of three different institutions, the University of Texas at Arlington, the University of South Florida, and California's Polytechnical State University, San Luis Obispo. Also, in addition to faculty subject matter experts who are working to create the open educational resources, we also have student graduate research assistants, instructional designers, librarians, a project management team, and industry advisors representing metropolitan planning organizations, cities, and transportation agencies. There is a critical need presently for transportation planners in the United States. These are occupations which commonly are done by those with a master's degree or increasingly those who have a certificate such as the post-baccalaureate certificate in transportation planning and policy that is offered at the University of Texas at Arlington. A vital need in this field also represents an opportunity to diversify the field. There is a workforce desire for diversity, equity, and inclusion in hiring for transportation planners. The involvement of open educational resources, we believe will further reduce barriers to education and therefore increase opportunities for a more diverse group of students to become practitioners in the field. Through the efforts of our project, we have estimated an average savings for, per course of over $108. Further, for the three states represented, California, Florida, and Texas, there are growing numbers of jobs available and at a high wage representing solid employment for students in these fields. Few key competencies we found important to capture for the transportation planners at this post-baccalaureate certificate level due to the nature of work rapidly shifting, not only in our present situation in dealing with a pandemic, but also with the rapidly evolving changes in technology and the responses in the planning and transportation planning fields. Through the use of open educational resources, we see an opportunity to have dynamic content, which will prepare students for entry into transportation planning as a future career or a new career direction for those seeking a change. We leveraged our industry partners to understand the job titles commonly associated with transportation planners at this post-baccalaureate certificate level, as well as the requisite knowledge, skills, and technology tools important at that level. Our advisory group additionally is responsible for reviewing the content to determine that it is relevant and up to date with current trends in the field. Here are a few of the job titles that we were able to gather from the US Bureau of Labor Statistics and from the industry partner input. As you can see, there's a variety of labels here, some which may not be apparent to students so simply capturing these 
titles also demystifies the application process, improving the chances for our students to knowledgeably apply for positions that they would be qualified for, but otherwise might be unaware of the labels. Faculty also gave their input in the knowledge, skills, and technology tools represented in each of the six courses highlighted for transition into open educational resources. We also collected narratives. These represent um, information around the knowledge, skills, and technology tools for each course and what students will learn. Again, the transparency here enables students to better understand the content they're learning in their courses and transition it and translate it into industry-specific language for those occupations. Here again is a list of the knowledge, skills, and technology tools. The numbers next to each are a count of the frequency in the six courses that these are represented. Also, we were able to ask our industry partners to provide a rating of the importance of these various knowledge, skills, and technology tools. In the graph before you, you see plotted on that y-axis, that importance rating with higher values indicating greater importance. And also, again, the count on the x-axis of the number of courses in which that information is presented. We were able to identify from this a, a few areas that were listed as important to employer, potential employers, um, but were not represented in our courses. So this gives us an opportunity to update our open educational resources to include those key competencies. Therefore, improving the course content to better be in alignment with industry expectations. We believe that this presents innovation in terms of industry involvement in our OER process. Additionally, having students involved in the OER creation, as well as uh, the collaborative nature of the project across institutions and at a post-baccalaureate level with a specific emphasis in connecting students to high demand living wage employment opportunities. Thank you for your time.